Hey everybody, it is me, and this is, I think, the third time I've tried to film this video. The first time I filmed it, um, I don't know, um, I just didn't like it. I didn't like how I filmed it, um, and that was kind of, it was still light up, so it was very natural light. The second time I filmed it, the... <laughs> The second time I filmed it, it was dark out. It was after 9 o'clock, and the lighting, of course, was not good. And I just thought that wasn't good enough quality to show you guys. Um, I, this is a haul, by the way. It is from a company called Kupala Soaps, um, and I got it in this package. This, they're on Etsy, so I'll put it in the down bar, and I have to sneeze. Sorry, um, but yeah, so, um, I was sent these for free, um, honest review, everything, the whole shebang, um, but yeah, this is what it came in, and it just had, if I can open it, bubble wrap on the inside, um, and I got a card with it, um, and it just says my name on the front, spelled correctly, which is awesome, and it just says, and this is what the card looks like, it's so pretty, it's like two little birds, uh, it just says, thank you so much for your interest in my soap. I included nine different soap samples for you to try out. Five are ready to use now and four still have to cure about another two weeks. Um, and then it just says, happy lathering. And that's what it also said on here. It says, happy lathering. I thought that was so cute. Um, just kind of like a small detail, but I thought it was cute. So, like I said, I got nine soap samples. And from the look of these, some of them look like they would actually be like the soap that I actually, um, Pay or like, so I got nine soap sam. So I got nine soaps. So I got nine soap samples. Um, and by the looks of these, these look like full size. Some of them look like full size soaps. So that's really awesome. She gave me really good samples, and yeah, I'm going to get started. So the first one is called Lavender Peach. Um, and this is one of them that's ready now. And sorry if you can hear my dog. But this is probably the first one I'll use because I don't like the smell of lavender and I don't like the smell. I don't really like peaches. But this smells so good and it's just like a red and um, um, blue, purpley color swirled. Um, and I really like it. It's a pretty big sample. I thought this was like she actually gave me a full size soap. Um, I believe her soaps are $6.49 so they're really um, decently priced. So that's always nice. And I just have them in these little baggies. They came in all individually wrapped in plastic wrap because she didn't want these scents to uh, mix. But then I just, because I just kind of like put them all apart like this. And I will have a haul. I have a haul, or not a haul, um, a review on these soaps. I have them scheduled for November 15th. So I can get the ones that still have to cure until like November 2nd. I can all give them a try. Um, and with this, there are some soaps I do not like. Um, I don't, there's some florally ones I don't like the smell of. So I'll either give those to family members or friends. Um, so yeah. So yeah. Um, this one I definitely recommend checking out. Um, there is a hint of lavender. I don't really smell peach in it. Um, there's a little bit of lavender. Um, but it smells really good. And I'm not good with scents, so bear with me, guys. And then the next one is called Ocean Days, and it is ready on the 30th of October 2010. And they, this, I don't know if it's just coincidence, but all of the ones that still have to cure another about another two weeks, on the back they all had the name of them. And online, this is what it shows, like, that's what the show, soap looks like, it has like the name in it. But this is one of them, I think I only requested three soaps to get soap samples um when she asked me what I wanted um what soap I wanted and this was one of them and it smells so good my one biggest pet peeve is when people go like that and like put it to their nose maybe it's just me um I was growing up that was kind of not how I was taught I was taught to like go like this put it close to my nose but not like have it touching so if you guys find that weird I'm sorry but yeah this smells really good 
Honestly, I don't know what it smells like. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not good with scents. But um, I will, like sh like I said, I'll put her, sh like I said, I'll put her store in the down bar. And then I think on each description is have it has a description of what it smells. So this one's Ocean Days. And yeah, I still have to repaint this nail because my two nails, they didn't stay. So I kind of glittered them on and yeah, they didn't stay. And this is... Um, steel gray from Rimmel if you guys are wondering um, and these feel um, even when I'm just touching them they feel very moisturizing so I'm very excited about that so this one like I said is ocean days then the next one I have is white amber and ginger and this is also another one of my favorite ones um, I will end up eventually probably buying some soaps from her, and this is one of them that I will buy. And, um, like I said, it's white, amber, and ginger, and it smells really good. It kind of has, it has definitely the ginger smelling. Um, I really don't know what white am amber smells like, and then there's, like, kind of sugar cookie in it, like, vanilla-y. It smells really good, and I like how it's, like, designed. Like, there's chunks of ginger, it looks like. So yeah, and eventually when I use these soaps, I will be cutting them up, so in the review, they will look smaller. And then the next one is Strawberries and Champagne. This is a scent that's not really me. Um, I don't really like the smell of this, um, but yeah, it's just pinkish red and white swirled together. I don't really like the scent of this so this will probably either be in a giveaway video or um, to my friends or family for Christmas time which yes I do give soap um, and just weird gifts to my friends and family because I'm kind of weird like that. So yeah. So I will not be using this. The next one I have which sadly cracked is Vanilla Bean. Um, so I'm not going to open it, but it came in two parts and they cracked. What I really like on the top of this one is like it has a vanilla, part of a vanilla on it. But it smells really good. I kind of smell coffee in with it, but it does smell like vanilla um, bean ice cream if you've ever had it. It doesn't smell like, like people who get this might, who just get regular ice cream I guess, like just regular vanilla. It's not going to smell like regular vanilla. It's going to smell like vanilla bean. I think, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I always smell chocolate, kind of cocoa, kind of coffee, and um, like vanilla latte in my vanilla bean ice cream, so I don't know, maybe there is, it is in there, but this smells like vanilla bean, um, ice cream, um, and then the next one, which I'm actually really excited about, um, which I would have never gotten by myself, um, is blackberry sage this isn't ready this is like the one that's going to take the longest to cure um it cures on november 2nd but it smells so good it smells like i smell the blackberry um i don't really smell a lot of sage in here but it's just a very fruity scent it smells really good and right there it says blackberry sage So then the next one, which is another one I'm not really fond of, is Amber and Beer Soap. Um, my mom likes the smell of this, so I'll give it to her. But yeah, it just looks like this. I don't like the smell of it. I don't, I don't know, I just don't like the smell of it, to be honest. And then this is another one I don't like the smell of. Um, and it's called Honey... Wait. Yeah, this is the other one I don't like the smell of. It's Honeysuckle Orchid. It smells too florally. I am not a florally person like I don't like florally sm scents so this is not one that I would ever repurchase but good to give as a gift or a giveaway um prize then the last one which is another one of my favorite is pumpkin pie and it's not ready till the 31st um but I just had to take it up I don't smell much pumpkin pie I smell cinnamon and nutmeg and all those awesome scents that go along with fall but it smells so good. And I kind of smell like pie crust in this. 
it smells amazing. Um, the 31st, I will be using this soap, um, without a doubt. So, yeah, it's so cute. It says pumpkin vine. It looks like pieces of pumpkin. Um, but like I said, I don't smell pumpkin in this. I just smell like all those awesome, awesome, um, like, what are they called? Um, I want to say scents, but I know it's not scents. It's... What's it? Spices. It smells like awesome spices, so this is very exciting to use. So, this is the last one. Um, I really want to thank Kupala Soaps. Jess, she's the owner. My cats are fighting. Um, I think she, I'm guessing she's the owner. I love your soaps. Um, and I will be having a few other... Why is that the piece of hair? Okay. I will be having a few other soap hauls. Um, a couple other companies contacted me. I still haven't received their soaps. Um... But when I do, I will definitely have a haul on that, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.